gather round, children, gather round. It's story time with just the little writer. In case you didn't know, that's me. Give me a hug. Eugene didn't want to go. He really didn't. He never liked old people. They gave him the creeps, as he always said. His old class was going to a local nursing home. Full of old people. Eugene tried to play sick. It didn't work. All 23 students were taken into a huge room with tables and chairs. The children lined up at the front of the room and put on a show for the old folks. They sang songs, put on a play, did magic tricks and stand-up comedy. The old folks loved it. Eugene noticed that his friend Janine was giving a lady in a wheelchair a hug. The old lady patted Janine on the back and smiled. She smiled at Eugene and revealed a set of sharp black teeth. Eugene noticed that something was sticking out of the top of the old lady's blouse. He looked around for someone to help, but nobody was paying attention. Eugene stared at Janine the entire bus ride back to school. She seemed distant, like she wasn't all there. He was walking right behind her when they got off the bus, and she fell flat on her face. Janine was taken to the nurse's office, and Eugene didn't see her for the rest of the day. He didn't sleep well that night. The next morning, a school assembly was called. Once seated in the auditorium, the school principal explained that Janine had died. Eugene panicked. He knew who had done it. There was no way that anyone would believe him. His family attended Janine's funeral. Eugene thought that they would go directly back home. He was wrong. When he saw the sign for the nursing home, his heartbeat sped up. He wanted to scream and run away, but he knew that wouldn't be a good idea. Eugene and his parents went to the big room where his class had performed. That old lady was sitting in her wheelchair and smiled when she saw him. Look, Jean, that nice lady is waving at you. Go say hello, his mother said. Eugene didn't move. His feet were stuck to the spot where he was standing. His father grabbed him by the hood of his coat and dragged him over to the old lady. You cute little thing, you. Give me a hug, the old lady said. Eugene looked at his father, who was giving him the don't embarrass me face, and hugged the lady who was not a lady at all. The sharp thing that was sticking out of her blouse was not a piece of jewelry that had gotten stuck in her clothes. The old lady that was not jabbed Eugene in the side of his neck with her stinger. She's waiting for you, the old lady whispered in his ear. Eugene's vision was no longer clear. Everyone looked transparent. The floor seemed to move and the ceiling was gone. He heard voices of children all around him, even though no other kids were there. Eugene rested his head on the window the entire ride home. When the car stopped, he looked outside and saw Janine standing on the sidewalk in front of their house. He opened his door and got out. Come on, Janine said. I've been waiting for you. She took him by the hand and led him away from his home and down the street. He turned around to see if his parents noticed and saw his own body lying on the ground.